Hello and welcome to the training session. I am Deputy Commissioner to be revealed of Delta Force Limited. Firstly, I'm just going to explain about Delta Force Limited. Delta Force was established on the 20th of January, or when it opened to our members. Many members, many people have passed through Delta Force, and I recall a figure of 100 members at one time. Unfortunately, lots of members have left due to their own personal reasons, or they are um, not interested in police role playing, or purely because they never got power that they wish to they uh, wish to get. And also, it could also have probably been because they wanted to create their own clan. A lot of you may uh, notice that a lot of clans out there actually like Delta Force, but that's true and I will not stop you or have a go at you in any way. It's true because those members that have created the clan have come from Delta Force because they did not like the way it was run. But they're gaining experience in by leading the clan and understanding how hard it is. I myself have run Delta Force. I ran it through to July time, um, through to July 2013. I handed it over to Commissioner Writers Tag 840, who is still currently the Commissioner and responsible for the clan. I, I am the owner of Delta Force, but I will obey the rules and follow Commissioner's instructions where necessary. BBX Bounds and XI Turner are both Deputy Assistant Commissioners of Delta Force. BBX Bounds is a long serving member, has been in Delta Force for many months. He has gone through the ranks to get up to the position he is in now. He is very, very experienced and I trust him a lot. And I'm sure most of the members of Delta Force trust him as well. He is very, very hard working. XI Turner pre was previously in Delta Force, however, after leaving, he returned to come back to the actual professional side of role playing. In Delta Force we really really do hold really high standards and we expect everyone to remain that high standard so we can be the best police role playing clan out there. We operate on GTA, Ballad Gay Tony, Xbox 360, we operate during Eastern Central Standard Times and GMT which is London time zone. If you've got any questions about time zones please please feel free to contact me so we can um, answer your question. Commissioner of Writers Tag 840 is in charge of Delta Force as Commissioner. I am the Deputy Commissioner, my game attacks to be revealed. Line Ninja 1017 is also Deputy Commissioner and I previously spoke about the two Deputy Assistant Commissioners beforehand. This training was created so that people who are joining Delta Force can focus themselves individually on their ability to adapt and to understand the way that Delta Force procedures are. Please look at this video, listen to the video carefully. On some occasions there will be writing on the screen just to give you a bit of a uh, visual um, display and um, visual understanding in, in a text format especially when it comes to codes and things like that you will be learning about co all of our codes which isn't very many because we also you like to use English um, you also be uh, learning about how to do pursuits and traffic stops and about our headquarters um, in the left of my stark area Delta Force is a um, very, very, very experienced roleplay clan. We've got many members who are now new, who are now bringing up the levels as they are getting experience themselves. If you are someone who is interested in becoming a leader, please contact either Deputy Commissioner to be revealed, me, or please contact Commissioner Writers Tag 840. We want to hear from people who are interested in taking up leadership positions, 
please contact us okay you will be supported to be able to get to that position if not whether it takes long or a short amount of time it will be done okay so within this video is going to contain everything you need to know for basic training at the end of it you do need to contact send a message or something like that to um, Commissioner Writers Tag 840 or Del Deputy Commissioner to be revealed which is me or alternatively you can actually just send a message to the Delta Force LTD ga Gamer Tag okay Delta Force LTD Gamer Tag you should be on there anyway as you are registered on our website if you are watching this video potentially um, our website is there for a reason please please go on it on a regular basis and um, in addition to that um, please feel free to comment on any topics or and put your vote in for the poll um, after this training you will be required to go to an assessment so we can basically ensure that you have watched this video ensure you understand how we go about our duties and how we are expect you are expected to work um, for those people that are struggling you do not understand you want a bit of help one to one please again contact us the Delta Force LTD game tag is there for a reason it's a one um, it's the one place where you can go and speak to and someone will always be there so without further ado I shall hand you over to the guys who tr um, was filming the training or shall I say who were being filmed and what I will say is I thank you the people who were involved in the filming very much I will name those people at the end of the um, video please be advised that th this video will probably be in two parts possibly three parts so please look out for them I will put it in the description okay thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the video good luck Today and I am my Snipes HD. I am an acting superintendent for Delta Force. Um, and in this training session, I'm going to be going through lots of different things and all the codes and everything you need to know to become a basic knowledge in, within Delta Force. Um, what I'm doing now is what you call a blue pool. A blue pool is driving somewhere following all civilian rules and not breaking any of them, okay? You're driving at a nice, steady, slow speed, not going nowhere too fast, and not jolting your actions across. Uh, your wheels across the screen. Um, what you can also do is when you need to get somewhere quickly but safely, you can go on to what you call a red call. A red call is driving somewhere quickly but safely with your sirens on. So that is what I'm going to demonstrate now. So you're picking up your speed. You're driving sensibly, not recklessly whatsoever, so you're not jolting across the screen or making yourself look like a complete idiot. When accelerating um, in the car, you should never just put the trigger down fully. You should accelerate slowly um, and also brake slowly. When braking, you should pull the LT trigger down halfway so you hear a slight whistling sound. Okay, that is how you should be braking and accelerating. Okay, also we have um, when we turn you can, um, on a blue pool, just say I come down to here on this road, it is a red light at the moment. Up. Now I would have to wait here to go straight over, but if I wanted to, because it's a red light, um, just because it's a red light, it means you can still go right on a blue pool on a red light, okay? But you can still get turn right on red lights. Now, when driving on a blue pool, you shouldn't be driving recklessly at all because um, damage other civilian vehicles is just not acting professional. Um, also, 
what I'm going to demonstrate to you now is when, on a, when you're on a red ball and you get to a junction, you should always slow down slightly because you don't know where anything's going to be coming out of any of those corners. Okay, so if I go on a red ball and I get to a junction, brake slightly, I can see nothing's coming and then I can pull out again. Okay, I'll do that a couple of times. Brake, nothing's coming, you can go ahead. Okay, just to make sure that nothing's coming out and you're not going to damage your vehicle. So as an officer with in Delta Force, you should always make sure your vehicle is in pristine, pristine condition at all times. It should never, ever, ever be damaged. That is unprofessional. And obviously, if you have a headlight out or something like that, your vehicle is going to be unroadworthy. Um, some of the other codes we usually have as well. We use them a lot. We use the green code. The green code means you're available to all callouts. You're available to be called out to any situation which control might need you for. Um, the yellow code. The yellow code. The yellow code is um, commonly used for if you're away from your controller or if you're getting a health pack or something like that. It just means genuinely you are not not available. Okay. Um, now emergency brakes. Emergency brakes are only to be used in emergency, and that is where you push all down all the brakes down together. That's L T R B and A down all down at the same time. It is like that. You only use that if it ever comes to like thinking that you might crash, something like that, and it should never be used in any other way, shape, or form. Um, when a uh, emergency vehicle goes past or anything like that, simply pull over to the side, not hitting the curb, pull over nice and gently, come to a pause, let the emergency vehicle pass, and then you pull out again. Pull out, and obviously you carry on with your blue pool whatever you're doing. Um, uh, when anything happens in Devil Force, which is classed as something more dangerous, like an officer being mugged or something, you always use the priority call. Um, priority call just basically means that the person who is speaking to the control, if they're calling priority, if they're calling priority, they will get priority over everybody else, basically. Okay, so where we're going now is Modest Garage. Um, this is where all the cars are usually spawned. Um, so, like, most civilian vehicles are allowed in the modest garage. Uh, that's just to stop any damage happening to any of the vehicles that are being spawned inside. Now, when entering the modest garage, obviously you enter at a nice, slow, steady space, uh, nice, slow, steady pace, and um, never be reckless driving at all. Um, Okay, so can everybody come and stand over by uh, the rack in between these two dustbin bags here? So can you stand up against one of the racks for me, please? Facing this way. Well Alright, okay, this is the modest garage. Um, I'm my Snaps HD, I'm going to be your trainer, and I'm actually superintendent. On my left hand side is um, JH, uh, JXHD, and he is an actor. Acting Chief Inspector for Delta Force. My right hand side is uh, Demon Hunter 028, and he is a newly qualified constable for Delta Force. We're going to be helping your training, and these two to either side of me are going to be helping you, you know, helping me to assist in the training. Now, within Delta Force, we have things um, on the, on the website which you should be visiting regularly, such as the report button. The report button, please feel free to use it. Um, as if you need to feel that you need to report another officer, or even if you need to go on, if you need to go on holiday. Um, if you use the report button, we know, and there's no risk of you being kicked out of clans for being inactive, or anything like that, and also all investigations will be followed up for anybody who reports another officer. But that is important that you use that button if you have any problems. Um, right, so... We're wearing the correct uniform. The uniform is important within Delta Force because it gives us a the plan, a sense of establishment. The uniform should be like what I'm wearing and what Demon Hunter is wearing. If you're a modder, what Jay is wearing is fine. If you fail to wear the correct uniform, you will be given a pink car and you will be spoken to afterwards. Um, also, on the home page, you must submit your Gmail account That's so you can have access to our members' information. Okay, now what I'm about to show you is what we use a standard vehicle check. Vehicle checks are important within Delta Force because um, it makes sure your vehicle is all in good shape before you go out on a patrol. 
Good luck to follow me, I have 